Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here today. I have an unboxing for Stationery Pal. Now I have received items from Stationery Pal before and I'm really loving their supplies. In this video, I'm just going to show you a few goodies that I've received. There's also a giveaway, so um, if you're interested in getting anything from their site, um, definitely uh, watch the video as I give you the details, of course. So the first thing I'm going to show you are, um, it's a, a box that they sent that was an additional uh, a box of items. I wasn't expecting it, um, in addition to what I had selected. Um, so they asked me if I wanted to select some items, um, you know, that I could uh, share with my viewers of things that I would be interested in using. And then, of course, they've sent an additional box of goodies, uh, which is this one here. Uh, they usually send these little items like little keychains and little clips for your, uh, you know, papers and stuff as well. And I even love their packaging because all of it can be reused, of course, including the... Um, you know the little confetti that's in there i'm loving this canvas bag and it has a zipper so it is definitely something i will be uh, using and reusing and so this is the supply of goodies that they've sent as a little extra than what i have selected now in this video i'm also going to show you some of my favorite supplies that i've received from them before i will have links to those as well and you also get a discount code so um, they are, as I said, offering a, a giveaway. So thank you so much to Stationery Pal for doing this as well. So it looks like they've sent a scarf, which is a really nice color. Um, there's a, a pen there, I think, and I'm going to take a look at that a little bit closer soon. Um, I've got some sticky notes, I think, and those look like crayons. Um, so I'm trying to figure out some of the goodies here because I wasn't sure what they were. And then I realized after I started opening that they include a little, um, I guess, uh, info pack to let me know what's in here. So I think that's a great idea. Now, this vellum sticky note has a little bit of a pattern to it, which is really, really nice. I'll show you that a little bit closer in a picture. I like that to have this shimmer to it, and it's just a really nice... Um, smooth to the back of it almost like a plastic feel now these look like crayons so i'm just going to quickly test them out they feel really nice and i, I like the shape of them because you can hold them really nicely now this is a light color got a nice bright yellow and then a pink so i'll have to check a little bit more if there's anything else that these ones require they've sent a mug which is kind of nice um, because I'll probably use that to store my pencils and pens. They've got a um, little notebook, which is great. It's got the grid pattern, always useful. And then this lovely letter. I love what they've done with the wax seal there. So this is the little uh, stationary info of what they've included. And this is so cute because now I'll know what is in here. Um, some of the items I couldn't tell. Like these are um markers they call them so i guess i don't know maybe they interact with water i'll have to try them out but this stapleless stapler i think is going to be another one of my favorites i love those types of um items in their shop um so i'm taking more of the stuff out and i didn't actually see the eraser but it is in there i realized afterwards that there is a uh an eraser in there that i forgot to take out they have included the of course the notebook with the grid pattern as i mentioned it's an a5 size the uh, sticky notes that are transparent the metal pencil uh, i think it's the one i didn't open the scissors oh my gosh these ones are so useful i do have a pair previously that i have from them and it's just great you can just you know throw that in your um, a little pencil case or whatever you're going to be taking with you and then you've got a small pair of scissors that you can use anywhere so these come in handy for sure and I like that they've got the um, you know the cap the cap um, so these are again some of the the goodies that they sent us extra so thank you so much for that that was a lovely surprise and I believe they do have these little kits in their shop as well 
where um, you can buy like a kit already put together for you. So the staple list stapler, meaning there is no staples in this, this would be how you would be attaching your paper together. So this would be clipping a few pages together with this design. I'm going to show you afterwards another one that I have that I really, really like. Um, okay, so while I'm showing you more of the goodies, I did want to mention um, that for the giveaway details, I'll save those for the end, um, just so that I, I don't mix anything up. But currently, they do have many, uh, you know, kind of sales going on. They're about to have a November 11th sale. They're going to have a Black Friday sale. All those things will be linked below, and you can check their website for that for sure. And you'll get some more of those details. Now, this is the box of items that I actually uh, ordered that I wanted to try out myself. And so, again, they included a lot of little extra goodies that, um, you know, you can share with your grandkids or your kids, etc. Or you can keep them yourself if you like. Uh, the first thing I wanted to check out is this pencil case. I find that I can never have enough pencil cases because I like to separate my items, like for my markers, my pens, that sort of thing. So this is going to come in handy for sure. Um, I'll, so I, I did also want to mention I have a coupon code for you if you um, wanted to purchase anything in their shop. Uh, just use the code Liz the Paper Project and you will get 18% off your items. Um, and as I said right now, they've got a lot going on with sales and additional things that you can save a little bit of money on if you're interested, of course. And don't forget to enter the giveaway as well. Um, all right, so here are some of the additional goodies that um, that I'm going to be trying out. Um, I like sticky notes that you can, you know, use in many ways. And of course, these are so easy to add to any project that you're working on as additional maybe journaling spots. Some washi tapes here. Now, my daughter, again, um, I asked her if she wanted to try some things out. And um, she's really into washies right now. So she wanted to take a look at these washi tapes with some of the gold and silver on them. Um, and you can see there's stars and stars with moons. And these, I like the black with the gold and silver. So these will be really nice, I'm sure. Some of the other goodies that I wanted to check out are um, these kind of like constellation ones. And I love the kind of neutral tones to them, but also like the... Um, the designs as well so I think these will be really nice in um, just you know various projects I've done a, a little bit of journaling you know when the moon phases are changing or there's like a super moon or something and these will always be nice to add to those types of journaling pages now I am obsessed with pens markers you name it um, and so I <clears throat> excuse me I wanted to try some of these ones out because I'm always looking for a pen that is not heavy um, as I'm using it that writes um, just really nice and that I don't get tired uh, when I'm using it because I don't know if you are a pen fanatic like I am but some pens have a you know a heavier weight in your hand and it's just more difficult when you're trying to do some journaling as well um, I did get some um, some of these additional pens from I think it's a Muji um, it's like a set of black um, ink you saw my little markers there that I'm um, also obsessed with. I've had markers from that before, uh, sorry, from them before, and I really, really love their selection of markers. Um, these, again, are some of the additional pens that I'm going to be trying out. And if you want to know anything about any of the pens, let me know. I have the gold in this one, and I wanted to get the silver because I use this very, like, I use this a lot when I'm trying to make a little bit of a, a gold highlight on a project. So the silver one will be great for Christmas uh, crafting as well. Um, there's a mechanical pencil and some more pens there. I did want to try these pit um, glue sticks because I've heard a lot about them. So I've got the small ones, of course, travel size. You can take those anywhere. And I'm thinking, you know, if I'll be doing a little bit more traveling, this would be nice to take. Um, I've got um, an additional washi and pen here, and I love the way this washi is. And then, of course, I got some stickers this time because I always love their stickers. There are all these florals here. I'll show you some of them as well. Um, the other thing I did want to say is uh, stay tuned to see some of my favorite past supplies because I'm really, really loving using these. I've shown them before. They're very popular. And I think it's because of the way we use them in the junk journal community and the scrapbooking community that, that really kind of makes them stand out as well.
All right, so we've got some of these lovely florals here and you can see it's like that clear backing to them. So they'll sort of disappear uh, on whatever paper you put them on in a way. And I love using these. Um, I've also used these a lot with the sticky notes that I just showed you, those uh, clear ones, because you can see the image on both sides. So that's how I really enjoy using these types of stickers. And then just sort of making those um, those faux um, photo slides with them as well. It works nicely. The other thing I did want to check out is this backpack. I've been looking for one... Um, just, you know, when I'm taking day trips or weekend trips and that sort of thing, something that I can just carry with me that's light. I hadn't been able to find one that I was happy with. Um, and this one I think will be nice. It has lots of pockets. You've got like a nice clear window on the front. While I show you the rest of the items here, I'm going to give you details about the giveaway. So to enter the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to my channel and also subscribe to a Stationery Pals YouTube channel, which I will also link below. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know which of the items I showed you is uh, your favorite from what I've shown and what I'm going to show you after I give you details. I have a few of my other items here that I, some of my favorite that I've had from before. Uh, and um, I will pick a winner in uh, two weeks time, but I will leave that date in the description of the video as well as on my coffee page and I'll leave those details there as well if you wanted to read um, a little bit more about how to enter. Don't forget to like of course uh, and share the video if you wanted to get some friends to take part in winning a surprise something from Stationery Pals. They've said they'll um, they'll let me pick a winner and then they'll be able to um, give you a surprise item uh, maybe from some of the goodies that you have selected as well and some additional ones I'm sure. All right, so now I'm going to show you some of my favorite items. The one I started with is this um, pen that actually is um, a little cutting tool. So you can cut very um, precisely with that little pen. And I absolutely love the way that works. The other one that I've shared many times on my videos is this uh staple list stapler again you can see just a different design from the one that they've sent uh, this is a three-in-one so it also has a bottom part that pops out and this is an envelope opener and then it also has another section where you can punch a hole um, from the bottom as well so i like this tool because it's a three-in-one and i find tools like that are always very helpful so uh this is basically um, it has this little um, edge here where it tells you where to put your paper and how far your paper should go. So if you follow those lines, of course, it's going to staple in the same spot at the same time. So I thought I would show that. You could also pack that one away um, by closing it up. Um, the other thing is I have some of my favorite markers that I've had from them before, including the Posca ones super favorite markers that I've used and the Posca pens. You can use them in mixed media projects, which is one of the reasons I really, really like those as well. Um, I've got a clasp, which, um, you know, kind of clasps, clasps paper together and it's a really nice design. It looks very vintagey and it's always nice to add to your journals. Um, these ones are called the Wink of Luna and they are like kind of like highlighter pens. I have the gold and the silver and I keep them in the packaging because it's always a good idea to, um, to close them back up when you're not um, going to be using them for a while. Uh, and then, of course, the pencil case um, that, you know, pops down and you can kind of access your supplies really quickly with it. So these are some of my favorite goodies. Um, I will link everything that I've mentioned below, uh, but I will also link my favorite ones that I have shown you because they're the ones that I go to often. Questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope you join the giveaway and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.